the weather has caught up to us it's cold and rainy out this morning and we are going to run away <laughs> we and i uh, yeah cold and rainy and i'm out in it i get to hook the car up in the rain this morning and move it out of the way start the coach run up warm it up pull it juggle them around get that <laughs> that's gonna go back there to get it hooked up so a little juggling around this morning yeah burr <laughs> And we need to find some sunshine i didn't realize it um well i did realize my batteries are all starting to get kind of sad we haven't had much solar uh even on the nice days we were uh where's we camp up where the ladybugs invasion was or the whatever they were uh, over in the shade and it was a nice day and then other days it's just been cloudy and overcast i just haven't gotten much solar like in the past week you know a little bit but my batteries are all getting kind of sad. Oh, and on top of that, I bet there's a bunch of wet leaves on top of my solar panels. So even when we get out, we're gonna get south. We are heading south. It's supposed to be uh, sunnier once we get down there a little ways and sunny the next couple of days. Cold, but sunny. Um, I'm gonna need to, some of them leaves will blow off, but they're wet, so they kind of stick. So I'm gonna have to make sure those are cleaned off, get my batteries all uh, back happy again. You know, we're just some catching up on the power in the power department even my engine battery is sad right i got that alternator <laughs> job to do we're gonna pick that up this morning and take that other one back just uh yeah we're in a bad state of uh our, my batteries are just enough they, they need love <laughs> all right we're warming up warming the coach one up and look these leaves all right that's where the fiesta was okay you think I put it up there out of the way for a minute yeah you know, we've only been here two nights two days two nights and look how many leaves have come down since we got here wow yeah I'm sure there's plenty of leaves up there uh, I think I was thinking I'd have to pull the coach up and then pull the car in but I think I can just do, pull pull the coach way up here close to the road you know I think I can just come around and sneak the fiesta in between a couple trees and pull them back here and just do it right here in our site yeah i wonder yeah look under the coachman okay hardly any leaves I'm, I'm afraid to look up here i'm afraid to look let's let's have a quick look Ooh. up 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 well it's not as bad as i thought but <laughs> even if it was sunny out yeah we're gonna there's going to be some blockage of the sun rays and the rain is picking up. <laughs> I wonder what someone rushes through. Oh yeah. <laughs> He'll be pleased to, to know that. Uh, once we get down the highway, most of, them will, most of them will come off. We'll check it out later. All right. Ooh. Oh, hang on. I'm stuck. Oh. Okay. <laughs> My sleeve was stuck on the doorknob. All right, letting the uh, windshield defrost a little bit. Got it pulled up. There's like a small lake running off the top of the coachman. I guess it was pretty level. The coachman does have a flat roof. So yeah, it's not crowned, it runs off. So it does puddle up there very critical that my roof is sealed and stays sealed uh, <laughs> yeah so we're just kind of doing some defroster action got the uh, fans up here running one there yeah one up in there a little dark but yeah it says uh defroster fans got her on all right There's plenty of room to still get by here and I got, got plenty of room here. I'm gonna sneak the car in over there. What do you see? What do you see? Uh, how bad the car is. It was funny. I should have cleaned the leaves off at first. Okay, when I turned the windshield wipers on. It just it, uh, it looks a little funny from inside. I just didn't think. I just started up and turned them on and 
had to laugh at myself. Watch. Uh, not near as many went this time, but. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right, we're not going far. That's good enough to see. Yeah, it's this time of the year where our roads, back roads, back country roads can get hard hard to see where they're at. Uh, this isn't bad, just travel a little bit, but this here where you turn. <laughs> okay, you can see, and there's still a lot more to come down. A lot of you, you know, from this part of the country or where you get all this fall leave action or where something like you can tell, you can kind of tell where the road's at, but you gotta be careful. Yeah, I don't know if I can zoom. Uh, if you look down through there, it just looks like the road disappears. Like I say, and when more and more come down, <laughs> you gotta watch. You never know when there's a ditch or a rock or something hiding. If you get off one, get off one edge or the other, that stuff happens. All right, we did her. Had plenty of room. Just snuck her right in between there. And here we are. We are hooked. Just about ready to roll. Uh, this pin's locked. This pin will lock as soon as I go up and turn to the left a little bit. Of course, we'll double double check that before we go get out in the road. But everything locks in good. Uh, yeah, it's that wonderful time of the year, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Russ's. Look at Russ's rig. <laughs> I'll get some of them out for him. Handfuls. Just handfuls. We'll maybe let the let the highway do the rest, huh? Wow, what a catch! What a catch basin, look how deep this is. I think most of them will come out. You know, they have a funny way of getting stuck under the wood, between the, like this one, just stuck under the windshield wiper. So I don't know how they do that. So when, you're, when your wipers are on, it's leaving this big streak, this big area that it's not getting, you know? All right, that's it. Yeah, the golden carpet. I don't know how many uh, other people that, uh, this might be more for like people out in, the west, out in other parts of the country that don't have all these trees and don't experience all this, uh, all this leaf falling. Is there's a cool effect uh, I think I sometimes enjoy more than, you know, the colors. Uh, like I say they're past prime. They're 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 turning brown and falling now. So the colors come and gone on many of them. Uh, but an interesting effect is uh, probably in a couple more weeks as, as more and more of them come down. You're left with just these uh, an effect of everywhere, yards, roads, uh, down through the woods. You can just see see better all the way down through the woods. It just looks like everything. You know, like the whole valley is has this golden carpet, and you're left with it. Just gives the effect that what's left of the trees is just like these black silhouettes. Um, maybe it's on the right day with the right light conditions and the, enough sunshine or whatever. It just looks like black silhouettes, um, and this, you know, land of golden carpet. It's a uh, maybe maybe you had to be there to enjoy it. <laughs> I guess maybe you had to be there. All right, both pins are up. Lights are all functioning. Coachman sounds good this morning. And Russ is behind me ready. Well, we keep looking for blue skies out there on the horizon. And there are none to be seen yet. We've got quite a ways to go today. Hopefully we find them. Hopefully we find them. We did not find blue skies yesterday, so but today's a new day.
stayed here at a Cracker Barrel last night, and we're blocked in. We're blocked in with this truck. Okay. Got here about, uh, about nine or ten o'clock last. Night. Well, we got here much earlier than that, seven ish or so. We had dinner at Cracker Barrel. It was good. Um, this truck rolls in about nine o'clock and just uh, blocks us. I hope he doesn't sleep in too late. All right. Some of us might get up early and want to go early start on a day and not be blocked in. So, and, and Russ is blocked in by this portable refrigeration unit. Uh, but that's been there. I think Cracker Barrel got that for, uh, you know, the holidays are coming up. They might need some extra refrigerator space for the Thanksgiving and Christmas season. Uh, but that was by choice. You know, it's their property, right? It's their, you can't say nothing about that. But the truck driver blocking us all in, block, uh, anyway, rusted up by choice. He can easily back out. I can't back out so easily because I have the car on the back. So, <laughs> I'm kind of stuck. Hope you don't, uh, hope you don't uh, sleep in too late. And, uh, and this other RV, God, and there's something going on with that. <laughs> uh, there's only three spots here, and he, he blocked us all in. This other RV, as you can tell, the reason Russ didn't park here and he, he, he picked park uh, getting blocked in with the refrigeration unit is because look at the branches. All right, this RV came in a little bit after we did and just came kind of crashing through all those branches. I mean, you know, <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't do that to my RV. Uh, whatever. Uh, so anyway, there is signs of life that truck did. Uh, just a little while ago here a little bit ago uh started up his uh, restarted his refrigeration unit at least he didn't run that all night right shut the truck off uh the refrigeration unit i don't know if it's on auto or what but um it was quiet all night of course it's pretty cool it probably didn't need to run um but it maybe it just auto started a little while ago or uh, hopefully he's up and he restarted it or something i don't know um, we're kind of stuck here this morning <laughs> for a little bit that's okay it's early just because i'm up early doesn't mean the rest of the world is i know russ is not he's not gonna be ready for a while so that guy's he's got time i think he's gonna unload i actually think he's a, a delivery refrigeration truck he's probably gonna unload there this morning and i'll uh, probably be on his way uh, cracker barrel is open guys out here cleaning up around and uh so maybe we can get start our day started here uh, later. <laughs> oh, well, what are you gonna do? Anyway, we're gonna continue tracking to the south here as quickly as we can. I think it's going down in the mid 20s tonight. Uh, yeah, well, this morning it's still right. Temperatures are starting to fall. It was in uh, I think it's 46 degrees or something this morning. So it, like dropped by 20, and it's gonna drop by like 20 more into the mid 20s tonight. So we're taking advantage of the day and we are headed south, south, south. All right. Well, uh, I'll chime back in whenever we get somewhere interesting, okay? That's it. That's our little, our little road trip on our way south. I'll see you soon.